we're in the bare room today. I've been promising Charlie for a long, long while now that we were going to try our hand at making a hobby horse. How good I'm going to be at this, I don't know. I've never made one before, um, but we're going to we're going to adapt and we're going to see if we can do it. So we've just set up in here. We've got Scooby's little dog on the floor who's waddling around. So if you hear little pitter patters throughout the whole video, it's because he doesn't settle. He constantly walks about. Um, but we're going to just uh, draw up our template, our pattern, and see what happens, aren't we? Yep. So we will um, we'll give it a go and, yeah, let's see what we can do. Let's create some magic. Right, so the first thing we are going to do is attempt to draw a hobby horse head. It's new to me, so having, I've got horses, but I've never been very good at drawing them. So we're going to do our best to draw one now. created the template of the hobby horse and now we are just going to cut him out. Here is our hobby horse. Okay, so now what we need to do is we'll just use a piece of just normal string so we know how long we want it to be. Yeah? Okay. Because when you stitch it on, it needs to be um, the right length. So we're going to want it to go to probably his top lip, I reckon. Yeah. So if we just work, work our way around the outside of this, and we know roughly how long. So we've got a little tag along now. A little person has decided to come and join us making the hobby horse. Haven't you? Me? Right, so now what you need to do, Charlie Moon, is get your fabric, which is one behind, isn't it? Yeah. You won't worry about the white one just now. Okay, so let's start with um, the length of the long ones. So look how long have we got. Right, hold on, could you have your... So, obviously with that, with, if you want it to be real realistic, the, in it, the pile needs to run the way of the hair, doesn't it? Like, you know, like on a horse, the pile will yeah. go down. So we need to, we might need to double up and like maybe make a, yeah, a bit of a stitch in the middle, you won't be able to see it. We can hide it underneath his jaw, because I think the other fabric isn't long enough. One strip isn't long enough. I don't know, what's that one? No, it's still the wrong way around. Okay, so let's draw, his, let's cut his head out first. So what way is his fabric, his hair gonna go when you, when you, when you put the- Say down. Right, so is that down? Yeah. You can tell, because if you push the fabric up, yeah. you can you see? So that's so down. Go down, so you want it to go down, yeah? So now what you're gonna do is pull that over to the middle. Put your hobby horse on it. Oh, it's okay. So you, want to, you don't want to waste any, so you want to get him as close to the edges as possible. Yeah. Mhm. Mm right. And then you need to draw around him. Are you going to be able to do that? Yep. It's got to be exact. Yeah. So just gently. There's nothing. That's it. Just gently. That's it. Keep. Just keep going. Really quick. Doesn't need to be. Um, I need to press hard because it'll come up on the fabric quite clearly. What are you doing? You crazy! Yeah! What are you doing?
so mum has just stitched him all together here he is um and i'm good here's his little pole hole i'm just gonna stuff him and i'm gonna give him his soul and his life inside of him so let's do it <laughs> so i am now going to give him his first ball of life so, i need to Mum said I need, I really need to stuff his nose and as well if, because his cheeks when after he's been the stuff, he's going to look like a hamster. So we're going to have to um, uh, stitch all of his, um, we're going to pull his cheeks in and make them look like a horse instead of a hamster. Here, he's getting his shape. <laughs> oh, he's so cool. Almost there. I've got, uh, it's just like in these two corners, I need to get. No, he looks alright, doesn't he? I'm really happy with him. <laughs> Look! Oh, he's wow. a horse. He's quite fresh. Wow, he actually does look like a horse. <laughs> One last bit, then I think see stuff them up. Definitely. Oh look! Ta -da! He he looks like a horse. That's so cool. Here is my hobby horse. I mean, she's definitely not done. Okay, so Charlie's a little bit excited about his horse. It's a thing, apparently. Apparently, you can. Um, there's competitions, it's hobby horse competition. I've never heard of it in my life, but he showed me on the on the internet this morning and it is an actual thing, it's a real thing where they bring rosettes and they take the horses and that. Not that I'm sure he's gonna get into the hobby horse competitions because I mean he's travelling the world, but we, we know you never know, we can dream. So here is our the beginning of our hobby horse. Having never made a hobby horse before, I'm quite impressed with the shape of it. Um and he's coming back in now with our cereal box. Yeah, we're going all out on this one. We're using a cereal box to use the um, cornflakes, the oh, cardboard for the for the ears to make the shape of the ears. So let's, and let's they try that. Upright. Someone's a little excited. <laughs> He's his main. So normally I hand wind my bobbins up because um, I just like to make my life hard, <laughs> basically. Um, but we've decided today to reinstate Dorothy May, my absolute baby of a sewing machine, um, and she's going to wind the bobbin up for us. But Charlie would like to give it a go. So it's a hand, um, well not hand, a foot treadle machine. So you use your feet, and I kid you not, it. Anyone that's used an old singer out there will know it's really quite painful and you start to get like cramp in your back of your legs where your, your foot's constantly doing this and you're trying to keep it at a, at a, at a constant speed so that it doesn't um, sort of flick the bobbin back and then flick it forward and it all, all your hard work goes wrong. So Charlie's going to give it a go now and um, find out how just how hard it is. So we'll, we'll have a go. Okay, so here is Dorothy May, my absolute dream machine. She's the very first machine I ever made bears on. And uh, yeah, she's much, much loved. Oh. All right, okay, Charlie. So what you need to do, this is going to be a bit hard because I'm going to be holding the phone whilst we do it. So you need to hold on to that. Mm -hmm. Hold it down with the other hand. All right? Is it not hooked over that, is it? No, hang on. It needs to go. So we're, already in a, in, we're already in a pickle. We're not even starting. Right, okay. So this hand needs to hold that down there. Hold it tight, yeah? Right, are you ready? I think. Oh no. Right, go. Wait, what am I done? Am I doing it? <laughs> no. Okay, go, go. Pedal, pedal. It's not doing anything. No, it's because you're not. What have you done? See, it's not that easy, I is it? I don't know what I did. Do you want me to do it? No. I don't want to do it. Right, hold on, we've got to take the bobbin back off again. Hold on. 
So that was really hard work and not something I'm ever going to do again. And um, so I broke the string and my feet felt like they're about to go to space. So now mum's going to do it on the moon. And I'm guessing she's going to do it better than me. That's a guess. She's just threading the bobbin because I didn't do it properly. It like flung off. And there is the master doing it. See, now mum can do it. I, however, can't. <laughs> it's really, really hard. My legs are burning. It's like being at a gym. Oh, the pain. That'll do, I think, because if I don't, I think my ankles might snap off. <laughs> I can carry on manually. No, like... no, that's good. No, no, no don't worry. That's done <laughs> no, pretty well, I think. Yes, I was about to chop my finger off. That'll do it. Oh, goodness me. God, Dorothy, you do like to make me work. <laughs>